What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And I promised that I would show you one of my favorite applications on my iPad. And I think you're gonna like this one because it actually gets rid of those ugly bars on the side when you put it on a monitor. So let's check it out. So normally when you plug your iPad up to a monitor to show it on a big screen, so normally when you do this, you get these black bars on each side of your display. But what I've actually been able to find is the application that is right back here, which is called Shift Screen. Now with Shift Screen, it's basically going to increase your screen the whole way. You're gonna actually get full screen layout on these different types of um, applications that you are able to open up. Now, this only works with just a few applications, so keep that in mind. So everything is gonna be actually set up on the iPad itself. You're just gonna click on new window, and once you click on new window, you have the integrated apps that are actually capable of using any of these services right down here. If you click this, it's gonna tell you browse all, and these are actually all the apps that will work using this full screen feature. So if you wanna work on a Word device or an Excel spreadsheet or Google Doc, anything that you wanna do will actually show up full screen on your iPad. So once you actually get to where you're going, you're gonna see the mouse on the screen, but you don't see a picture. Picture is here on my iPad. There is no picture up here on my screen. The next thing you're gonna do on your iPad is you're just gonna come over here and you're gonna tap on the two faces and now picture shows up on the screen, but now the mouse only shows up over here on my iPad. So anything you wanna control from YouTube, you're gonna control with these buttons right here. Um, you got your volume control button right there. You got your play pause button right there. If you wanna mute it, you just mute it. If you wanna play your volume again, press that. Full screen and now Let's go back down, play. What's going on, Average Tech Guy here? And today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this time we have some brand new cases from the company. So you get full playback right here. You get volume right here on your monitor. There are no issues. There's no lag. No, nothing is wrong with this. Now let's say you want to stop this playback and actually visit a real website. What you're going to do is just come over here and go to Google again. Google comes up and in order to get your mouse back on the screen, you got to come back and click this button one more time. And now you get your mouse control right back on this screen, clicking here, Capcom and go to Capcom's website. And there we go. So you're scrolling, everything's working, everything's nice and fluid. There are no issues with this. And if you ever want to go back home, this keyboard has built in home functions. So I just click home, it takes me back home. So just keep it in mind, if you wanna use any of these other applications, you're gonna actually have to come into this app, hit new window, scroll through the app, find the one that you would like, attach it in a new window, and boom, there you go. So you can go into any of these Word documents, you can edit them, you can copy, you can paste, you can do everything that you would normally do on your iPad right here from this application. So I've been using this application for a few months and I've really enjoyed it. And I've actually really enjoyed the many updates that it's went through, the different versions that it's went through. And this is probably one of the most solid versions that I have seen. So if you like it, give me a big thumbs up. It's gonna cost you like one or two bucks, but I think it's something that's really great to have to eliminate those black bars that you see back there behind me. You can use your internet, you can use YouTube, you can use Word documents, all on a full screen using the Shift Screen application. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me a big thumbs up and please continue to subscribe. Average Tech Guy out, peace.